please excuse my entire appearance. This is very impromptu. But the other day, I decided I was getting me an Ikea greenhouse cabinet. And I decided that my life wouldn't be complete without it. And I needed ASAP. So the past few days, I've been stalking Ikea's website, of course. And lo and behold, I refreshed today. And it said they had one Mills Bow in white in stock. So I immediately jumped in the car. I'm looking like this and I'm on my way. Didn't even have time to stop for gas. We gonna make it on some fumes. We gonna make it. Okay, I am here. It only took me like 10 minutes to get here. So we gonna see if this stop is for real or not. y'all it's here it's here i'm so happy i got it and i am so completely out of breath but i'm gonna go check out and put it in the car and come back and get some prop boxes so while i'm here i'm picking up prop boxes and these make the perfect boxes for propagation they're cheap they're clear and they have clear tops so I'm getting this too. Here's all the peck boards and possible accessories. I'm thinking I want a peck board, but I am not sold yet. These can be like little prop boxes. And these can be little planters. But, um, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. I'm sweating. <laughs> but the mission was successful. They had one white Mills bow in stock. And I have with me in the car one white Mills bow. And I also have the prop boxes and picture frames and a cutting board. So, um... This is going to take a while. This isn't going to be like some quick weekend project. I'm really going to sit and think about how I want this to look and how I want the design to be because, yes, this is going to be a design. This is going to be styled. This is not going to be, you know, your put it up and stick some plants in there. This is going to be a whole project. I know that I want to do some custom shelving and I haven't even decided what I want to do for the background if I just want to leave it glass or do moss or do the pegboard like I just showed y'all so um I'm going to be thinking about this um and making sure that I know what I want before starting to work on it so this is going to be a work in progress stay tuned you'll see a lot about this you'll come back you'll want to know what's going on <laughs> all right y'all peace so I'm just sitting here staring at the wall thinking about my greenhouse how amazing it's gonna be and I just keep watching um you know Ikea greenhouse videos on YouTube and all of the videos are great but like I don't want this to be just about the plants like I want it to be about the cabinet itself I want like the cabinet to be a whole look and a whole mood so I just keep thinking of how I want it to look and how I'm going to achieve that while also still being an ideal environment for my plant babies. So I'm just, I'm here in my thinking chair, like Steve. <laughs> so let me flip this camera around. So I'm sitting here in my room and actually I just did a plant tour. I just filmed a plant tour. So it should already be up by the time this video is posted. And you can see like I really don't have that many plants in my room. But um, this here is the Ikea soccer cabinet. I mean, I'm sorry, soccer greenhouse. 
And this is where my middle spell cabinet is going to go. So I believe the height of the cabinet itself should come to the top of those pictures. So I'm going to be moving those pictures to over there. Moving this dresser to over here. I just finished drinking my sparkling water with berries and uh, putting my greenhouse up there. I want to start like tomorrow, <laughs> but I have no idea what I'm going to start. Um, so I'm just sitting here in my chair, just staring at this space, daydreaming about my cabinet. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> okay, so I cleared the space. Uh, you can see here, so much room for greenhouse, so much room for activities. I got a vacuum, but um, I've moved my dresser and soccer greenhouse over here temporarily. Um, actually, I think this looks cute. I think this looks cute. And this one over here being crazy, but I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll start putting it together tomorrow. Maybe not. We'll see. But y'all will see, of course, no matter what happens. So stay right here. So it's the next day and I did go ahead and unbox and you can see the pieces like all over my room um but y'all i'm missing pieces there's only um two shelves that came and i keep looking around like am i crazy am i missing something but all the boxes are empty and um, these are the only two shelves. Well, this is the only shelf I got. Just one. So, um, I'm about to go to Ikea and see what's up with that. I made it to Ikea. So before I go to customer service to get some shelves, um, I'm going to look at the lighting section. I'm going to hang, um, a lamp with a grow light above the shelf so that, above the cabinet so that I can put plants on top of it. So I see like a lot of people put plants on top of theirs, but most people seem to put their cabinet where there already is good light. And so like I'm putting it in like super far away from two skinny north facing windows. So I wanna be able to put more than just golden pothos on top. So I'm gonna look for simple, um, lampshade and just the, the lamp cords that they have. So something cute to put on top of the cabinet so I can have some, you know, some, some cuter, more variety of plants up there than the rest of the plants that are in my room. I just talked to the guy at customer service and they don't have any more shelves and he said they're not ordering any more shelves for like at least until February today is December like 20th and he said the best that he could do is have me return it and get a refund and no I'm not returning that cabinet um we all know like how much these cabinets sell out immediately especially in this area and especially the white ones like the black ones came in stock after i got mine but there's still no white ones in stock so and i already took it apart and i'm not doing that so um i'm definitely gonna have to go with custom shelves so if if 
I'm thinking I want to do wood. I know that sounds crazy, but I do want to do wood and pine shelves. But if that doesn't work, then I might have to get wire shelves. I don't want to do that because even though they're functional, let's just be real. Wire shelves are not cute. So I'm going to go home and work on the cabinet some more. And I have, um, I just have some ideas in mind. So. So I have started assembly, so let me show you. Um, so it's actually a little taller than I thought it would be. Um, I still have to put the second piece of the bottom on and the top on before putting in the glass. The part that I'm most worried about is drilling the hole to the bottom because there's actually another layer. That's the second layer to the bottom. So I'm hoping the bit that I got can go through both pieces of metal without an issue. So um, I'm trying to hurry up and get this frame put together so I can drill that hole before my son goes to sleep. So, cause I don't want to wake him up. And I wanted to be able to do this outside, but clearly um, I'm not taking this whole thing outside. So I will be drilling that um, in here. So this is what we're looking at about right now. Um, I have it positioned where I want it on the wall. And um, I marked the center so I can come back and hang the light above. But now it's time to drill the hole. And um, here's the drill bit. And I am about to put it on the saw, I mean the drill. So I just watched a video on how to use a circle uh, drill bit on metal and it actually said to drill a pilot hole first with a regular bit. So that's what I'm going to do. And then um, I will use the circle drill bit and I'm not going to film that because if I end up losing a finger or something, I don't want evidence of my stupidity. So I'm going to try this first and um, I'll let you know how it went. Okay, we have success for the pilot hole. It went through um, both layers of metal. So now um, I'm going to use this to drill the larger hole. And let me put it on real quick. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, so the instructions said to use a lower torque than you would for drilling in a hole and um, to drill slow. So I think these numbers are torque and you usually use 24 to drill through whatever you're drilling through, but um, I'm gonna take it down to 17 and drill slowly. And um, hopefully this is gonna work. Um, also, I don't have lubricant, but I'm using like kitchen oil. That should work, right? We'll see. We'll see if this works. If this breaks or not, um, the Amazon reviews for this bit, like a lot of people were only able to drill one hole or no holes at all. So I'm wondering if they just didn't use the lubricant or if they were drilling fast and hard and because um, other people had success. So hopefully, I just I just needed to drill two holes. That's it. Just, I started to order two just in case the first one broke, but um, hopefully this will work. Look at that. All oh, those shavings, but it's all the way through both layers. I'm gonna get the vacuum and um, clean up all these metal shavings. I don't know if you can see. Done, it's done, the hole is done. I don't even remember if I showed y'all already, but I'm gonna do it again. Um, so I cleaned it up and you can see it's gone all the way through, so. um. I have um, grommets because I'm glad I got these because that hole is not very clean. So this will make it look nice and neat. Hopefully they fit. Give me a second. Okay, it fits. Um, I'm gonna have to glue it, but that's okay. I will do that later date but I know that that fits so this is 
Gonna make this hole look nice and clean, no matter how crazy it looks. I wonder if I should glue one to the bottom. Let me see if it'll fit. Um, so I have another one. Actually, it looks like it's the hole at the bottom is like bigger than. Oh no. That'll work. I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna glue this today, but I will I will glue both of these um to clean this hole up. And um I need to find some glue to see if I have some glue to do this. So yay, that works. Something went right. Okay. So the next step is the glass and um, putting the glass in the back and sides. And so, um, you know, I gotta be extra. I can't just put glass in there. I don't want to see the wall. So I don't want to be able to see the wall through the back of this cabinet unit. So this is contact paper, and I am about to apply this to two of the panes of glass, um, the ones against the back, so that you will see this instead of the wall. because I am T.I. Red. It took me 40 minutes to put the contact paper on one, one of the glasses and I didn't do a great job. But of course, the second one was quicker and I, I did better. But overall, I really like the way the contact paper looks. It looks pretty much exactly how I imagined. So um, you can see here we have this nice background. And it looks like fabric. I don't know if you can tell. So this is the second one I did. And I kind of wrapped it around the edges a little bit. But this one I cut up to the edges. And you can, it like pops up. I had to stuff it back in there with the credit card. So I'm just hoping that that's not an issue when um, the humidity gets up and it doesn't start to peel. It shouldn't though, because you could use contact paper in kitchens and stuff. So I don't think it will peel, but it might. I put the one and only shelf in here just as a test to make sure that everything was even. Uh, one thing is that, um, I'm sorry, the lighting is terrible now. It's dark outside. I don't have supplemental lighting, but the glass kind of curves in. And so it was hard to put this in and almost much more difficult to put it up on this level. I just put the brackets where I think I would want the shelves to be um so the other thing that i'm going to do tonight before i go to bed it's like eight nine it's nine something now what time is it i can't tell when the camera's on um let's put the light up because uh, if I, when i put the doors on it's going to be even heavier so i just want to be able to put the light up now while the cabinet cabinet i'm so tired i can't even talk while the cabinet is not so heavy and then um, I'll be done for the night. The light should be easy. I've done Ikea hanging lights plenty of times before. So that should only take a few minutes. So I'll be right back in a few minutes when I finish that. I decided I'm not showing you my face anymore for the night because it is done. But I went to put this light together. And this is the wrong cord. Like it just, the light just came right through the hole of the lampshade. So I had a, uh, a couple extra cable grommets and so that's what I did I just stuck this extra cable grommet through the light and it holds it's like perfect so I don't have to go back to Ikea and get a new light cord yay morning day two of assembly and I thought I would recap by just firing off all the ways that I had messed it up yesterday 
<laughs> so uh, let me show you the cabinet. So this is where we made it. Um, the doors have not been put on yet. So my first mistake was down here with these feet. Um, I had put like the wrong feet on the corners. So I had to go back and fix that. Um, I don't know if it's really a mistake, but the contact paper is just a little janky on this side. Uh, I had put the glass in wrong, so I had to put, take the glass out and put it back in on the side. So now it was it was like bowing in, but now it's flat. And um, I put the hooks for the ceiling light clearly too far over to the right, so I have to move those over. And I actually bought um, I bought the wrong cord for the lamp and I was going to keep it but then I'm like no nah, I'm just going to take it back but I'm not going back anytime soon and I was on Ikea's website and um I saw a lampshade that I think I would like better than this one I mean this one's fine but they had one that I like the color and the shape a little bit better but it wasn't in stock at my local Ikea so I'm just going to wait to see if it comes in stock and then I'll return this with the cord and get the right cord so today the plan for today is to put the doors on so this lazy half right here that's the breathing that you hear it's her Sophie really okay the doors are here and there and there this is a mess from assembly but um yeah that's that's the plan for today so um i will probably put the doors on when uh, asa takes his first nap so um yeah I'll, I'll be back when he's asleep Hey man. All right, so assembly is almost finished. I put the doors on. They were pretty easy to put on, but this second handle right here was giving me problems. It looks like the holes are too small, and I wasn't able to screw the bottom screw all the way in, but it doesn't wobble, so I'm going to leave it like that. So, um, my last item of assembly for today is to glue the cable grommets into the bottom of the dresser, into the cabinet. So, I'm going to go downstairs and see what type of glue I can find. Okay, I found another tube, brand new. So, let's proceed. If you've never worked with this glue, it's like all-purpose amazing glue and it's waterproof and you can use it on just about anything, fabrics, plastics, woods, metals, it's the perfect glue. Not too much, so on there and let me put the cap back on. Ah. Uh, Let me put the cap back on. Here, I'll put it over here. Okay, I'm gonna put it on now. So this is the hole here, and I have this, and I'm just gonna plop it right in. So, you can see there's some excess, so I'm gonna clean that up right now. It's just a wet paper towel. Nothing fancy. I think I just spread it. <laughs> Good enough. Um, so actually I'm going to put another one. Well, you can kind of see the rawness of the hole. 
So I'm going to put another garment on the bottom of the hole. Okay, so this is it for now. The assembly is complete. This is what we have. I'm about to call Ikea about my other two missing shelves. And um, you can see the paper. And yeah, this is done. So that's just phase one. Um, next, what I'm going to do is going to uh, experiment with shapes that I want for the shelves before I get some shelves custom made. And I have an idea for humidity, so I want to see if that humidity will work. But it's a couple of days before Christmas, so it might be a while before I get to it. So like I said before, this is, this is going to be a long work in progress. We're not working through this shelf project, this cabinet project. So stay tuned to see how this will progress. Peace.